All right, so we're doing the tensile strength test. We're waiting for the rock to contact the load cell. It's staying constant. And it's staying constant now because it didn't touch the rock yet, but it soon it will because it is going up. And as soon as we get there, you'll press stop. Okay, okay, stop. All right, I think it contacted, and now you, you can start. start recording. And now, now we're doing the, the experiment number three, okay? No, number two didn't work. Uh, Should I I'm say what the starting is? For, yeah, it's a negative 10 again. Yeah. Okay, it's negative 10. I forgot to do something before that wasn't really needed, but I'm gonna do it now. And this is to engage the displacement sensor. And now, now it is in there. So now you, you can go up, but just press once, okay? okay. <laughs> just, and it will start to go up. All right, go ahead. Okay, now the load is uh, going up. And uh, uh, you, just, it's okay, just let it go. It's loaded. You, you can stand up, that would be better in case the piece of rock flies away from the position, so now, now it's loading. And the previous one was how many pounds, we said? Maximum? Last time was like 412. 412, okay, we'll see how much this one gets. Now, what do you think, guys? How much is, how high is it going to go? Same rock? The same, exactly the same? Yes, similar. Is that 300? Okay, it's at 300 now, all right. It broke now, and you can stop it. And the maximum was? 387 plus 10, so 397. 397, uh, okay. So this one was 397. Let me stop it. All right, this is all the data. Yes, you can stop it. This is all the data that you need for uh, your test. And we're going to do something else. Last time I gave you the photos, but this time, you, you can bring it over here. Before you leave, please take a picture of the samples. And then you can add this to your to your report. Okay, we have number one, number number three, uh, number two. It didn't work. So uh, this is the end of the tensile strength test. <coughs>